this radio it didn't work at all but I've just replaced this Hunt's cap uh, yeah <laughs> we all know how bad Hunt's caps are and this is a uh, 25 yeah 25 microfarad and the schematic uh, down here that calls for a 10 microfarad and that shouldn't really make that much of a difference but uh, of course it does and yeah, I've just turned it on it's at 220 volts of course going through the dim bulb still but it does take a few minutes to warm up interesting it was working 30 seconds ago Anyway, it is making the right noises now. Well, sort of the right noises. But a long way to go. This is the first cap. And uh, what we might do is uh, test this Hunt's cap and just see just how bad it is. So we've got... Remember, this is a 25... And, of course, it is 55. Ah, yeah, great. Thanks, Hunts. So what I'm going to do is just continue on replacing some of these nasty moulded caps. Um, these, I don't know what that one is. It's just absolutely terrible. This has got a great big split down the side of it, as does this one. So... That'll be the first to go. Okay, so these caps have been replaced. This one was very, very badly cracked and it just fell apart as I pulled it out. So this, yeah. So that's the end of that one. Um, and this one was pretty bad as well. So we'll turn it up and I'll show you. So it's working okay. I've discovered another Hunt's cap in here, which is this one up here. So that'll go very soon. And it's connected still to the original electrolytic. So God knows what that's doing. Um, yeah. And there's this Duke on one down here, which is probably okay, but I'll replace it anyway as a matter of course. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six capacitors to go. Now I'm about to drill into this chassis because the M3 screws, or yeah, screws, are just a little bit too big. So I've got to um, drill these out a little bit. Uh, 
and that's it. This was probably the best dollar I ever spent on all of these connectors. Although I've used most of them now, they have been very useful. These are the three ones and kept separate. So this one is in, it's on its own post here and it's uh, soldered down to the chassis here before it was right up here and down to here and yeah it was all over the place. I also found this in the garage in a box. I've forgotten I had this. Um, it is cloth coated wire from quite some time ago I would think but it is uh, turning out to be quite useful it's quite a heavy roll so yeah not sure we quite how this got into the country or anything like that but yeah okay so it's working and it's sounding pretty good without an earth so it's got that usual hum through this system this uh, power system we've got here I don't know why still uh, yeah I have to check the voltages on the valves um, I don't know what condition the valves are in some of them are looking pretty sad uh, there's an EBF 35 and um, yeah it's black <laughs> not red so and yeah it's pretty filthy the chassis so it's going to need a very big clean up it's also going to need a new power cord for sure and that's down here but it, otherwise it's almost finished it's working well i haven't changed that one um, i'm going to wait and see if i can get some more zero four sevens um, because I'm not really happy with the, these ones um, they are working but they're run as I say they're only rated 100 volts whereas the other ones are rated at 630 and I'm not sure that that's really good enough and it's probably bringing in some distortion and things like that as well so on with the cabinet and the power cord and some lunch okay this radio was working for an hour it was all complete etc etc and uh, then it started to crackle and fizz as I was working the laundry and I could just hear it um, and I ran to the workshop here and um, yeah I got to the door and it just went dead so it turns out that the uh, choke has died I'm pretty sure it has it's open circuit so that's the end of this one until I can get another choke so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for liking thanks for not liking uh, and I'll speak to you in another video coming up very soon. Okay, so this ran for an hour and then it died. And it turns out that it's the choke. So this is the choke here. And we'll... And it's completely open there as you can see.
So there's yeah no continuity through that. So I've actually found one out of a 11.7 Chrysler, one of those big beasts, which I've stripped down and thrown away the actual chassis. But this is a 575, but it does actually work. So I'll show you. But there it is, and you can hear the sound. So, So, yes, so I'll have to try and find a smaller choke. I'm not sure how they quite affect the radio, but this one, as I say, is 450 ohms, and this one's 575, and it's much larger. But there you go.